Welcome one, welcome all to the last week of the Ferrari GT3 Challenge Series. Well, for the season anyway. We'll be back again next season for sure. And uh, we are Oscherschleven. I think that's how it's pronounced. That seems to be what, how everybody else pronounces it. So, yeah, very technical track this to end. Very technical. Um, probably see quite a wide range of lap times. You know what I mean? I could probably find out that the, the pros are really quick in comparison to other people but uh there we go um we got uh 124.7 okay uh, there's a little mistake on the lap as well so if you've seen the video through maybe have a little guess see where you think the mistake was because it was worth a few tenths okay but this is where i think sometimes watch, just watching the video you don't fully appreciate the intricacies of the lap okay but anyway we've got track temps of 49 which is ridiculously high and we've got a special little cap so if you know you know if you don't you don't there we go comment in the in the uh comment in the comments if you uh know what that's all about right okay so coming down into first corner and you know the theme that i've to push a lot in this series is about your braking and braking hard in a straight line compared to when you turn in and this is just the classic case, okay? So we're looking for this sort of uh, exit road. It even looks like a bit of an entry road, but anyway. And this is where we're starting to brake, okay? And we're braking super light to start with because we're having to flick the car in, okay? I've got to say as well, brake bias is up at 53.6, okay? So that's three clicks forward. I found the rear pretty loose around a lot of corners here, and this is particularly one where I found it difficult to get the turn in and the brake in done without the rear coming around okay so we're doing that so very light brake pressure to start with okay we're turning the flicking the car in so we see we i'm up to about 50 percent just for that initial little bit then coming off as you turn in and then as soon as the car gets straight again as soon as the wheel gets straight then we start to break up to the max okay which is in this case is about 70 percent okay so it's all about that flick in get the car straight and then brake okay and we can see really we do take this curb but whatever you do whatever you do do not take the you know anti-cuts because it will launch the car okay it will massively launch the cars so just don't do that okay we do take a bit of curb and as i say we just we're pointing the car at the apex of the right hander okay now there are two ways to take this corner okay in qualifying you probably want to double apex it Okay, it's probably the slightly quicker way to do it. In the race, you're going to have to tuck yourself in a little bit more. Okay, because you could get up your inside here. Okay, so we're breaking, 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 turning in. And I, obviously, as we're starting to turn in, we're having to release the brake a bit. Okay, it's a very technical corner, this one. Now, this is where you would probably hold the brake a little bit more. Okay, and just hug the right-hand side if you've got a car behind you. Okay, if you don't, then this line is completely fine. Okay. So we can run it all the way out and we're double apex in by hitting this apex here. Okay, and we get a lovely run down this straight, which will earn back all our time. Okay. Now this corner, we're kind of looking for the blue pole, obviously. Okay. And it's kind of where the start of the curb is as well. Okay, so quite easy way to break this point. And again, we're looking for a super late apex here. Okay, really late apex. Okay, nowhere near, nowhere near the apex and that's your apex there okay because this next straight is for is saving is quite actually quite a big one okay or just leave bin maybe sleeping whatever anyway okay but we do need to be slowly progressive on the throttle here okay so as we see we're late apex in but we're on the throttle here before the apex a long way before the apex okay but we're very progressive okay the car can get loose here and you can also run wide okay so gotta be really careful from the throttle we can take quite a bit of this okay just don't touch the grass okay now the entry to this corner okay i'm i'm getting to fifth now we want to be as far over the right as we can okay and you can hit some of these okay you can kind of clip them the only problem is and i've seen this happen a few times you can actually get these stuck in your car Okay, and if they get stuck in your car with the next kind of corner coming up, it's that's not a good thing. Okay, so I would say if you can just run it 
super close to them. If I not touch them, that is ideal. So the entry to here then, we are looking at just, we're gonna point the car in, okay? We can throw it in on the full throttle, okay? And then just before we get to the apex, we wanna start braking. Now again, very light brake pressure. And this is another reason why I put the brake bias forward because the rear will come around here if you're not careful, okay? So super light brake pressure, and we're kind of doing that on these first two apexes, yeah? So this is like a triple apex corner, this one, okay? <clears throat> so full power in, and then as we get to apex, just very lightly braking all the way around, just maintaining a really lovely little arc, okay? It's very important to just get a really nice smooth arc, okay? And then once we get to this point, we can then get back on the throttle, okay? <laughs> so it's like, it's a very technical um, corner, this one, okay? It's not easy at all. It'll take some practice, okay, if you're not used to it. Okay, but we are back on the throttle, okay? And we're kind of, again, trying to line ourselves up so we get a nice straight braking zone, okay? We don't want to be braking all the way around the left and then braking to the right, okay? We want to be kind of um, line ourselves up nice and straight and then hitting the brakes, okay? And we're just braking in a dead straight line for the next apex, okay? We don't run it out to the left and then cut back in. We pretty much aim for the apex here, okay? It's a very long radius corner again, so we're kind of just hugging the corner, okay? We're just hugging the apex all the way around here, okay? You can run a bit wider and double apex it again, if that's your preference here, but I think it's pretty slightly quicker on this corner just to hug the apex, okay? So we're hugging it all the way around, getting back on throttle, and again, look at the throttle input here, just, it's, you could be so careful with, okay? Track temps, you know, ridiculous as normal, so you just gotta balance that throttle, okay? To keep the car on the inside, but not obviously get too much rotation, okay? And also, you don't want, don't want to push the car out too wide either, okay? So, just on the throttle, balancing it, balancing the throttle, balancing the throttle, there. It's full power, okay? Now again, it seems to be a theme with this track where you, you kind of have to line up the corner to give yourself kind of a, a straight run through, okay? So we're, we're running it as wide as we can, okay? To give ourselves a straight line through, okay? We're about there. We can't really take too much of this. It's quite an aggressive curb, okay? So, you know, that's fine. You know what I mean? You can't really take any more than that at all, okay? Now, here's a really tricky one, okay? Very easy to get one X here because there's no real definitive line to mark where the off track is here, okay? But see, you would think this is gonna be an off track, but it's actually not, okay? So we run through here and this is fine, okay? And we're lifting off as we flick it in, okay? So we're here and then we need to just lift off just to get it in, okay? Because we can't run too far to the right because we'll screw up the next corner, okay? So here we are, we lifted off and we're turning in and we're taking a big amount of curve, okay? So this is what it looks like from the top. Okay, and it's probably because the right-hand wheels stay on the red and white curb, okay? So send this flying, doesn't matter. That one doesn't tend to ever get stuck under the car for whatever reason, okay? But we need to keep the right-hand sides on here, all right? So again, very technical section of track this, and this is where actually where the mistake is coming up. So for me here, I'm braking, and when you do your braking, you go down into third, and you hug the apex round. Now here, I didn't quite get across enough to the left here, and I also got back on the throw a little bit too early. So I'm trail braking in, and I get back on throw here just slightly early, which pushes me slightly wide, and I'm on full throw here, but as you see, I have to back out the throw and then back on it, okay? So that was just a little mistake. Doesn't seem like much, but that was actually like two tenths of a second, okay, compared to other laps I was doing. So annoying, but is what it is, okay? I'm always honest with you with the laps. I don't pretend like they're ever perfect and say, that's the way you've got to do it. If I make a mistake on it, I'll tell you, okay. Now this right left, probably one of the more, more simple corners, I'd say, but unfortunately there's no great brake marker here, okay? 100 is too early for sure, okay? The bridge is too late, definitely. So we're kind of in between really, okay? So we're kind of in between the 100 and, and the blue sign, I mean, it's a feel kind of thing. Just as you go past the hundred, it's like you feel like right is here. 
You know what I mean? There's just a time that it takes once you've passed 100 where you feel like that's my breaking point, okay? If you can pick somewhere on the track or a mark on the track or something, then great, but that's just how I do it, really. Okay, and we're down two gears into third. Okay, we definitely need to hit this apex, okay? We can't run it too wide and we can't carry in too much speed either. <clears throat> so you can carry in a lot more speed, but you're gonna completely compromise your next corner, okay? So this is definitely a, a one of those corners where you need to trade off the first one for the second one, but don't trade it off too much, okay? Because if you trade off too much, you're not gonna make the time back, okay? It's only a short run out of the next corner, but it's, it's, it's a balance and you've got to use your delta and just go, right, yeah, that's right. That's perfect, you know what I mean? Like, it's just done a little bit on feel, okay? So again, we're on throttle before the apex, we're turning in, we're tra trailing in, just a tiny bit of break, and we're on the throttle, that's with the apex, and we're looking for this apex road, we're gonna get as close as we can to it really, okay? Um, Sorry. Yeah. So again, we're gonna open up the next corner if we can. And we need to hit the apex and we're on throttle before the apex, but we're balancing it and then we're up. And we can take quite a lot of this one. Okay, again, two wheels on the red and white, it's fine. You can run quite wide here though, but for some reason I was running quite wide in practice on this corner and yeah, it cost me a few laps, but this is what it is. Okay, very important part of the track, this as well. Like if you're too tentative here, you're gonna lose a lot of time, okay? Again, we don't really have a great marker. Okay, so it's just, you know, we've got the blue post up here, so it's kind of feels like when you're about level with it, that's when you break, okay? We're breaking, and I hold fourth through here, okay? And I think that's the right gear, and I think if you're changing down to third, you're probably not carrying in enough speed, okay? So we want to hold fourth, okay? I actually don't trade it in, you know, it feels like I've got enough rotation done already, okay? I think this corner is actually quite cambered, so you actually get quite a bit of turning done, okay? So I, in this instance, I don't trade it in. We do get back on throttle quite early and quite aggressively. On this one, you don't really get any rear rotation here, okay? And we're drifting it out pretty wide, okay? We can literally run it all the way out here. As long as you know, our two wheels are on the red and white, it's fine, okay? So you're never really gonna run too wide here. Now last corner, be aggressive. You know, if your left side wheels are running down here, that's just no good at all, okay? We've got to be super aggressive, okay? Use the pit entrance, okay? And we're braking just before the line, okay? Just before the pit line. And we're down back into second gear. And we make sure we hold the apex. Now the rear can get a little bit sketchy here, okay? So again, we're progressive on the throttle. And this is quite a long straight as well, so we want to make sure we're on the throttle before the apex, okay? Just get a really good exit. I get a little bit of traction control kicking in, but that's absolutely fine. Okay. And that lap, a 124.7. So that is the track guide for this week. Um, I hope it's useful to you. Obviously, this is a track that many of you probably won't know that well. Okay. It does take a while to build up speed here. Not the most straightforward track. It's very technical. A lot of tricky braking zones. A lot of very high speed sort of stuff where you've got to be careful of the track limits. Um, but it should be interesting, okay? Main overtaking points are probably into turn two. You you can get cars up your inside there. Um, it's sort of a track where you can get a lot of um, overtaking, a lot of side-by-side -side action, really. So um, down the back straight, you'll often get a car up your inside there, and you can kind of go side-by-side -side through the right and the left. So quite good racing you normally get here. It's, it's hard to overtake, but it is possible. Okay, so obviously this is the last in the series, okay? Um, we'll be back next season doing this. If there's a fixed LMP3, that's a series I really want to do. I'll probably do like a GR86 guide as well. I hope to do that. Um, also doing other videos as well. There'll be a few hints and tips videos, a few hardware videos. I really want to try to ex expand the channel, but obviously time is precious, so we will see. Okay, um, I wish you good luck for the season. Hope your last races go really well and I'll see you next season.